Let's see how we can enable Flexbox in Foundation for Sites. By default, Foundation for Sites uses floats, vertical alignment, table cells, and some other CSS hacks. But if the browser support is a problem for you, you can enable Flexbox without any worries. The browser support for Flexbox includes the latest Chrome and Firefox, Safari 6 and newer versions, Internet Explorer 10 and newer versions, and all the versions of Edge supports Flexbox, Opera 8, iOS 7 and newest versions, Android 4.4, also supports Flexbox and newest versions. The components that support Flexbox in Foundation for Sites, the button group, the input group, the menu, the top bar, the media object, the title bar, and of course the, the grid. So we're gonna take a look at the code to see how we can Enable Flexbox mode. I'm going to open the folder SRC. And here on the assets, you will find SCSS folder. There are two ways that you can include Flexbox. I found the second one the most solid way. So we're going to open the app SCSS. And here on line 9, you will find foundation flex grid but you can see it's commented so i'm gonna remove the comment but you have if you enable flex grid you have to comment the normal grid so i'm gonna add a comment and if you scroll to the bottom you will find foundation flex classes so we have to uncomment this but you have to comment the float classes so let's add a comment right here. Next, you have to open the settings CSS. And I'm going to scroll a little bit. And maybe I have to look for flex. And here on the line 73, you can see global flex box. And it says false. I have to change this to true. And now we have successfully added flex box. Let's see a small example and let's see if this is working. I'm going to open the default HTML and I'm going to remove everything here. We don't need any anything of that. I'm going to add a div with the class row. Close this div. And I'm going to add another div with the class. And this class is going to be called shrink. This class means only take the space that you have in the content then we have columns as usual and i'm gonna add small here close the div and add another one div class and this one is going to be called columns columns by itself will take the rest of the content so i'm gonna add take the rest and close the div so i'm gonna make this to the, to the right and i'm gonna save you can see it says small, take the rest. If I add more content, small, well, this will take the content width. And save, you can see it says this will take the content width and this will take the rest. If I inspect the element and use this, Let's inspect the element. You can see here on the columns, we have this div with the class columns. It's taking all the space. And the class with the shrink, shrink class is taking only the space that the content needs. So this is a small, small peak of Flexbox. In the next video, we're going to start working with our project.